Yo, moment of truth and natural wisdom. Yeah. Yesterday I was telling you about how the bank uses your money, and as a result of that, they get the interest by by loaning out your money, and then in the long run mm -hmm. or annually every year, they give you. A compensation in the form of is it dividends or whatever they call it like sharing of profit and then they compensate you every year now today we are going deep into how you're gonna gradually get out of poverty there are lifestyles that can put you in poverty all the time no matter how many hours you work, you can work 24 hours a day, but there are some lifestyles that will put you in poverty all the time. Here in the United States, first of all is car payment and trade in. We call something car payments and trade in. You can get your car about five years and you pay it off. You take good care of the car and you drive it or you use your car. That's good. You see what I'm saying? Now, but let me tell you this. Some people will never get out of car payment for the rest of their lives in the United States. Simply because this year, 2022 they they will get toyota highlander brand new 2022 then they will use the highlander for about five years when it is about time for them to finish paying off their current vehicle then they go back to the dealership and the dealership will advertise onto them another brand new car but since they don't have the cash to pay for that car right away they will trade in the old vehicle that they already had they already they almost done paying for that car but they will trade it in in the process of trading in the dealership is gonna tell you that every year the value of your car depreciates. Car, that's why car is not an asset. It doesn't appreciate. It depreciates with time. The value depreciates with time. So you go to the dealership. The car that you bought it for about $40,000 on installment. You are paying every month. Now you bought it. Let's say you, you're going to buy your car 2022 for $40,000. And then about 2027 or 2026, the dealership will tell you that your car doesn't worth $40,000 anymore. Now, the wealth of your car is about $25,000 or $30,000. So if you you need another brand new Range Rover, then the Range Rover is gonna cost around fifty five, sixty thousand, or seventy thousand, or eighty thousand. So you have to trade in your old car. You give your old car to them for free, and they give you another car payment plan, and you're gonna be on that payment plan for another seven eight years you're gonna drive the car for eight years because you don't have peace of mind accidents here and there increasing your insurance premiums and then the value of that car is also going to depreciate and when it's about time for you to pay that car off you get another call from the dealership there is another brand new car you go there sit down with them they put you on another payment plan and you keep this circle going and going. It's not even a circle. It's a straight line. 
because you never come back you will keep moving forward in payment of payment plans different type of cars you see what i'm saying so this is one of the lifestyles that put a lot of people in poverty in the united states should be able to be like okay i need this car let me use maybe five years of my time to pay it off i will take good care of it it's for commute going to work doing my basic basic stuff and you know but some people will almost finish paying it off and they will trade it in trade it in and get another car payment the reason why you're gonna trade it in and get another car payment if you finish paying the old one off and you keep it in your house you're gonna be like mm, if i have a car sitting in my house there is no need going for another car payment so you're gonna take a break at that point you will develop financial stability you're gonna be very stable financially because some of your paycheck that were going to car payment is now with you you see what i'm trying to say so it becomes stable financially now another issue is phone payment phone payment is also the same like the car payment you give you the phone for two years plan and every year you are paying about is it 150 dollars depending on your phone you are paying averagely 150 dollars or 120 dollars a month you will finish paying you your old phone off almost finish paying it off and the phone company yes yes yeah fufu ready okay i'm coming what do you say now when it's about time for you to finish paying off that phone then an, a, 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 another iphone would come in so you have to swap your old phone and get a new phone and they put you on another payment plan you pay you finish paying that phone off and another phone will come in your old phone is still good but another phone just came in and you go to the phone company then your network provider have the phone for you you have to swap and get a new phone and that keeps you going and going and going and going so now you have the phone problem every every month you are paying your phone you are paying your other bills you are paying your car now which of course no me if i don't need if, if i need something i set up i set something aside set some money aside buy it phone buy cash and get whatever service that you want to use you don't need to get any phone payment give it's, it's you know stay away from this busy basic stuff it gives you peace of mind you are thinking about when your phone bill is due me i don't think about that i don't think about basic basic things uh, you don't have to think about basic 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 things so i'm saying so if you realize you need an iphone that costs thousand dollars work hard save thousand dollars aside buy the phone take good care of the phone use it for about two three or four years or five years you see what i'm saying saves you a lot of money because you go to the phone shop they give it to you they said you have insurance on your phone so when your phone is broken you come there and they change it for you because of that you have not developed the habit of taking good care of things i try to take good care of my phone because i know i bought it if i drop it i have no insurance on this phone i gotta take care of it if the screen is broken i gotta replace it by myself so i, I have to learn how to take good care of my phone i gotta learn how to take good care of my car it, you begin to develop the habit of taking good care of things including yourself you see what i'm saying now another issue apart from the phone is credit cards credit cards gives you the confidence to spend the money that you don't have if i need something if i i, I want to spend some money 
I have to make sure that I work for it. You know, without sweat, there is no way you're going to chop. You work hard and you, you enjoy the fruit of your labor. Here is the case. You have about $20,000 on a credit card that you didn't work for. But you, uh, you, you eagerly want to spend that amount of money. What is going to happen is you went to the shop. There was a big TV screen. You had TV already in your home. And averagely, you don't even watch TV that much. Averagely, you watch TV about twice a week or maybe three times in a week. TV is not that necessity part of your life. But since you have the credit card, you're going to spend it on getting a big TV screen that you actually necessarily don't need. So credit card motivates a lot of people to spend money that they don't have. So I, the, a lot, most of the people that I have canceled, that I have been in contact with, when we are talking about financial st stability and stuff, I try to bring this busy, busy stuff up. And the credit card, like as I was saying, if you, you use your credit card up to some point, there is no way you're going to be able to pay it off. That is when you begin to get some letters. They send you emails, mails and stuff, different companies trying to say that they will assist you paying off your credit card. But none. They are even trying to take advantage of you. Would the credit card company be another credit card company for us? So, Obeboa Mochiasa, a can of Obwa. A can of Munina and Namfufo. A can of Ono Bepek, a can of Wode, another credit card. He also be a honka credit. The call on his own. It be an only answer. So, on also be a on who did What you say? So be smart. Yeah, so credit cards. If you are not ready, if you don't have the money, don't spend it. If you didn't work for it, don't try to make an attempt spending it. You can get a credit card for a real emergency life situations that you need something. You put it aside or you get a credit card. They send you the card. Don't keep it in your wallet. You can throw it somewhere else. The only time that you are looking for that card is when you are actually in an emergency. It is not whereby you went to the mall and you need some clothes and you use, you're spending your credit card to buy clothes and stuff. You only keep that card aside for an emergency situations. Or better, if you really... I was talking to someone about how they're going to pay off their credit card. I was doing some counseling with them. This is how you easily pay off your credit card. Throw the card away. Just cut it into pieces. Throw it away. And every month... Put the payment on it because if you are paying it and you are using it there is no sense it doesn't make any sense there's no point paying your credit card every month and you are using it somebody told me that when they were the kotoso bosomia now bosomia corona was saying you should say so the credit card balance is always going to be the same even if it's going to take 20 30 years it's still going to be the same and you're never going to pay that off the easy way of paying your credit card off is to chop it into pieces and put it in the trash. So what I'm saying, and another one is student loans. Most people want to go to school because they have to get um, education to be able to put themselves up to, you know, to climb up the ladder of making a better living in terms of wages and salaries. But the point is, Sometimes we are dragged into some programs that necessarily we are not interested in. Like most people think their friends are doing nursing, so they want to do nursing. They get the student loan. But in the middle of the program that they realize they were not prepared, they are not interested actually in doing it. And... By that time, they had already spent some of their student loans. And the student loans, the company is not going to tell you that because you did not graduate, you, you are not supposed to pay the loans. You're still going to pay for it. So they will start something and they will start a nursing 
they will get the advice from friends they will switch the student loan for the nursing is there now they want to do um they want to do x-ray or uh, radiology now that is also another student loan in the middle of the program they realize they are actually not prepared and they are not ready for it that student loan is there so before they realize they have attended about three four schools with all with student loans and they are they have to settle these payments every month because and they think student loans are not as expensive as car payments in terms of the payment the monthly installment because that is a long-term payment plan so every month you pay like fifty dollars or hundred dollars on, on on all your student loans if you have four student loans from four different companies you are paying hundred dollars on all of them every month initially because it was one or two student loan you didn't realize it was having a negative effect on your finances but now that you have about four or five student loans and each and every one of them is taking hundred dollars a month now you feel the blow on your financial you know part you know you see you 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 actually gonna feel it if if it is one company or two you don't feel it that much but as far as you are getting in involved in different type of companies about four or five of them you are paying hundred dollars for all of them every month you, you realize you are actually putting yourself in trouble so if you want to do something plan for it perfect plan planning is always good for uh, you know Sussex you to be able to be successful everything that you are doing make sure it is of interest when you are going to school make sure you are interested in whatever you are doing if you want to do nursing you love to serve people you like to work around people if you want to do computer aspect you know that maybe you can solve some problems by yourself alone in a room or by involving yourself in a theme so you gotta know what you want to do you know assess your personality and know what you want to do based on your interests other than that in the united states you can get a lot of student loans and you will never be able to get out of it recently president joe biden said student loan forgiveness is going on there is a program coming in that might be very helpful for all the students with massive balances on the student loan account so we are looking forward to that but do not be in a habit of running chasing student loans because student loans are easy to obtain so you want to chase student loans it's not gonna help you the last point is otako ghana mama otako ghana opeso oko ghana every two years every year obere ni huwa ye juma si yifu sikafu two years no wo di sikari nina ako ghana kwa ako shisi kano no wa samba ubedru ufre ghana bedra bruchira wasi ya beifu wa sore eti ya nisika sem oko ghana ninti atamfuo Asoreti ya ni sika sem eni ne juma. No. Wo ye juma ni wene sem ke sika no udiye investment. Anasa wo de to japa diebi anasa wo de ya diebi no. You didn't use it the right way. Utu yu kwa yu kwa gana. E kwa cheche. Obe kwa oma wo toto tofon. So wako ma wom. Oma wo muhiya computer. Oma wo kudri yonu kwa wenti miya nto hui. Ama wo wo muhiya sika. Eni ya di ya di nina ano. Afe na obi dura bu chiri no. Oba abe kachire. O honse. U kwa gana no. Ena wa tamfu bi any abey for authority let us be sincere let us be truthful to ourselves and at the end of the day we realize life become easy for all of us you see what i'm saying so that is that is it i love you a moment of truth and natural wisdom the number no a plus one nine three seven seven eight nine four four nine five oh frame ya you be doing come on May guide you, may mount some clues as to how you can easily keep yourself going by putting things together. We are here to help and support each other. I love you all. Yes.